History of sunglasses Go to early tribes in the Arctic carved sunglasses from walrus ivory, leather, wood, or bone, and used them to block the glare from the snow and ice. These snow goggles were especially helpful during hunting trips. In AD 37-68, Roman Emperor Nero used to watch the gladiator fights through emeralds to reduce the glare from the sun. The most expensive and most ineffective form of sunglasses in history. In 13th century judges in China used sunglasses made from smoky quartz in court. These shades hid their facial expressions as they interrogated witnesses and conducted civil service examinations. In 1752, James Ascoff developed blue and green tinted shades of sunglasses for medical reasons. His sunglasses used the same optics as microscopes to fix visual impairments related to color blindness and depth perception. In 1929, Sam Foster sold round framed sunglasses on the beaches of Atlantic City. Shortly after, they were in mass production for the Foster Grant Company in New Jersey. In 1937, Ray Ban opened their doors for the first time. Their aviator shades were initially used by pilots in the Army Air Corps, but eventually became stylish accessories for civilians. In 1939, Edwin H. Land created the first polarized sunglasses. Over the next decade, sunglasses became fashion staples and millions of pairs were sold across the world. In 1950, cat-eye sunglasses were a super popular style. Famous stars like Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn were seen in movies like Breakfast at Tiffany's. In 1956, Ray Band introduced their iconic Wayfarers. The popular style was well loved by everyone. If you like this video, please do like this video and subscribe this channel for more history videos.